Massachusetts has scenic coastal views, history, outdoor beauty, greenery, and great healthcare. Perfect for retirees. We'll start from the west of Massachusetts. Pittsfield is located in Berkshire County. It's the third most populated city in that area. With over 45,000 residents, slightly less than 19% of the residents are retirees. It is also home to Berkshire uh, Community College, where you might decide to go back to school, continue your education in the new field, or take some courses just for fun. Berkshire Medical Center is in Pittsfield. If you're a classical music and art lover, you will love living in Lenox, Massachusetts, the second town on my list. Lenox is where Tanglewood Music Festival is and Shakespeare and Company. And Shakespeare and Company has performances all year round and Tanglewood has amazing series of concerts during the summer. About 37% of the community is retirees. The location of Lenox is great because it's about three hours to New York and if you want to drive to Boston, it's two and a half hours away. I'm always delighted when buyers and sellers find me first on YouTube and reach out to me. I have all my contact information in the description below. Another peaceful location to settle in is West Springfield. The town has a population of 28,000. The average West Springfield home sale price is 318,000. I have many instantly downloadable resources like the buyer's guide or the relocation guides. All the links are in the description. 10 minutes away is Agawam Six Flags, where you can spend time with your grandchildren. A hot spot for retirees is the Crestview Country Club, which is an 18-hole championship golf course, which draws many retirees to play or spend time together. Agawam is located right on the banks of the Connecticut River, so you have the river views, you have beautiful nature. Amherst is famous for its college environment and I made a video about Amherst if you're interested please watch that. Amherst has many colleges there and that's why it has a very vibrant culture, many cafes, a lot to do but it's also famous for its farming community. For the history lovers, Emily Dickinson uh, Home Museum is there. The town has a relaxing and peaceful atmosphere. Northampton is about 20 minutes away from Amherst. It's a beautiful town and whatever you cannot find in the farming community of Amherst, you can find in Northampton because it is kind of a more urban feel to, to this town. There are plenty of restaurants, cool bars like the Tunnel Bar, which is a bar created from an old abandoned tunnel. At the Smith College Museum of Art, you can find over 25,000 works of art from global artists. It's about one hour, 20 minutes to Worcester. An hour away from Northampton is the beautiful and calm town of Gardner. The town is known as the furniture capital of New England. The West Gardner Square Historic District is where you'll find many of the local retirees. The average Gardner home value is 330,000. It's about 44 minute drive to Worcester and one hour, 19 minutes to Boston. Now let's go to the Cape. Many people are attracted to Cape Cod, especially for retiring purposes. And if you're one of them, Chatham is a great place to choose. Chatham is very attractive and gets filled with tourists every summer. There are many spots to dine, to have a drink, or to stroll around the town. The average home value is 1.1 million. 
It's one hour 48 minutes to drive to Boston. Another town that is very popular for retirees on Cape Cod is Yarmouth. With its 400 year old history, Yarmouth is a magnet for summer tourists. It provides all the scenic views as well as great connectivity to central Massachusetts. For the last on my Cape Cod list is Dennis. It has 15,000 residents and 35% are over 65 years young. Retirees can appreciate the arts by checking out the local art galleries and museum. You can also find sculptures at the Cape Cod Museum of Art. As a resort town, Dennis has endless options when it comes to cafes and restaurants. And it has a lot of motels and hotels, so your family will not have any trouble when coming to visit you. It's 1 hour 33 minutes to Boston. Gosnold, it is kind of continuation from the Cape Cod and it's on many little islands. With a population of 70 residents with a median age of 61, Gosnold is in the secluded nine Elizabeth Islands in Dukes County, including Katihang Island and some smaller islands right next to Falmouth, Cape Cod. If you love privacy, you'll like to know that it has the smallest population of any Massachusetts town. The main mode of transportation is golf carts. To live here, you have to love the ocean lifestyle. The average Gosnold home value is 1.4 million. Gosnold to Boston is about 63 miles. And drum roll please, the last one on my list is Newburyport. So we're going to the North Shore. One of the last two towns before New Hampshire border, Newburyport is a quaint seaside town with beautiful views of Merrimack River and a walkable, very historic downtown. There are 100 plus retail stores and restaurants in Newburyport. It's really beautiful. I love going there. Plum Island is close by where you can go sunbathing and enjoy the summer days. It's about 51 minutes drive to Boston, but you also have access to the commuter rail, so it's very, very convenient. My name is Nune. If you're interested in buying or selling in Massachusetts, please reach out to me. I'm always happy when my YouTube viewers reach out to me. And please like and subscribe, you know the drill.